Virgo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in, Virgo. We're just going to jump right in and see what's going on with you today, okay? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot, okay? And uh, what else here? I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. All right. Thank you, Virgo. We're going to get started here with some opening oracle messages first here and see what's going on. We got a lot and make sure the cards are all facing the same. Okay, you got um you got some answer or some messages today. Maybe answers. I don't know why I said it that way. Answers. Maybe there'll be answers to you. Hold on, Virgo. Sorry. Of course I have to get all um ADD real quick on you. Because the light. Okay. Sorry, Virgo. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so we have they felt very particular. So the first one is, I am grateful that you came into my life. So whoever this could be about in your life, you are grateful that someone or something went into you, like they came into your life to show you something, a journey of some sort to, you know what I mean, express or feel an experience basically here, Virgo. Okay, so, you know, you're one of those like, I feel like it's just also the 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 bigger, better people, um, the, the people that are like... Um, what's it called? Be the bigger, better person. You're one of those. I mean, it is, it does, it does come literally with your, the, you know, the virgin, the maiden and all that with your sign, your zodiac sign. It's like the, the loving one, you know, always, you know, people always like to try and take advantage of Virgo because Virgo's so loving and nice, but you're one of those people where it's like, whether it's good or bad, you're the person that's going to be like, well, I am grateful that you still existed and you came into my life, even if we don't like each other or it's over because you know, I learned this, this and that from it, you know, that kind of energy here. So this is what you're experiencing right now at this time is you're grateful that at least something happened, even if maybe it turned out well or didn't. The next one here we have for you sideways is you're the only one I see. So even you're starting to realize about someone or something that, ah, yes and no, you know, even you're kind of like, well, I'm grateful that you came into my life, but I don't really know if you really are the only one I see. I, not really. I, it's actually one-sided. I, oopsies you're probably like I well there's someone else over there I'm kind of looking at um I'm grateful you were in my life but uh they might be the one like you see what I'm saying so you're kind of starting to whoever you felt that way for or said it to even in, that's not really it anymore it's starting to change same with this one sideways it makes me happy to see you thriving even though it's without me so this has got to be a long lost someone okay that you're in, you're connected to again or that you guys are just about to break apart but that means on your end virgo you may not have told them truly like how you actually really feel okay in the situation because it looks like you're with whatever this is about okay that um it's like it does make you happy but it's like, did you discuss it to them? You know, did you tell them that? You know, is it something you want to say? Like, even if it's without me, I hope you do well, right? It, there's something where it's lingering. It's halfway. It's making you kind of feel that way and sit with the situation. So it lets me know that, like, with the you're the one I only see, is it more so that you just want someone or something, right? And so it's kind of like, well, yeah, they are the only one I see, but I, I do want more with them, but I don't know if they ever will really be there with me. I am grateful that they were here in my life. Um, you know, it's like, but it makes me, it makes me happy and thriving to see you thriving, even if it's without me, but actually I really wish it was us, you know, like it could be either, or I kind of get the sense it's that vibe though. Okay. Now let's see here. Um, and it's not coming from like a negative energy from you. You're not, it's not like you're bitter. It, there's no bitter energy. It's, it's you understanding what's happening, missing that, realizing that, or you are parting ways and being like, okay, I'm grateful. Thank you for the experience. So it's either, or it's like, you still want to be in the experience with someone or something, or some of you are just done, you know? So I'm going to see what other um, messages come out here for you. Okay, it makes sense, Virgo. You're clearing out the physical and mental clutter in your life. 
clear your mental and physical clutter, you will feel so much better. And I feel like that's what's happening for you now because you are clearing out the mental, I was going to say the mental, the mental and physical, the mental and physical clutter. Maybe that's why you're the only one I see. It's starting to kind of be like, well, not really, you know? And then it's like, it makes me, you know, happy to see you thriving, even though it's without me, but it's kind of like, eh, not really either anymore. You know, maybe you're moving on. I don't know, either or. You are understanding you're clearing out some stuff. Clutter, problems, issues with whomever, whatever of the situation. Here. All right, Virgo. So let's go ahead and see with the tarot what's going on in the situation. Virgo so it looks like here yeah there's definitely some either anxiety or frustration or how you're spending your money your time your energy and efforts even you know it is not the right way therefore you're done with that okay whatever this is about it has made you realize either there's already a new chapter in the beginning you want to get a head start on but you can't quite yet for whatever reason or you're just not wanting to budge and do anything about the situation quite yet that has caused you to actually be able to sit there in your position of a power wealth money status whatever it is and just get up and do something figure it out basically it looks like you're towards the end so i'm going to clarify these here okay and see what's going on Yeah, that makes sense here, Virgo. So the collaborative effort, the collaboration, working together with someone wanting to, trying to make it happen, or you are, your own career path, your own job is where it's causing the problems, the bankruptcy or the the issues or the sporadic, you know, things just aren't growing or working or something's just not being figured out the way you would like it to in the situation. And so it could be with a best friend or even someone you are in a relationship with or your own personal journey with your own job and career path. But it looks like either or of those reasons is why you're done. So you're breaking up. You can't stand who you work with. You're they're your best friend, but you guys collab and you realize work and friendship don't mix or whatever it is, right? Or love and working together doesn't mix either. You know, either or here, you yourself could just be split in two and just finally make a choice and be done with something okay now it looks like here it could be on your part like you could like, like purposely want to be a little bit like in head in the clouds a little bit delusional a little lazy you could want to be like I don't want to try let me just daydream or you're just genuinely frantically confused and freaking out and you don't know what's going on what options you have what can you do either or I do see that's what's causing you to want to just like force your way, use lust, force something to happen, or just you want something to happen so bad that you're just not going to it yet for whatever reason, or you really are just done. So towards the end here, there's someone I think that's making you feel truly unfulfilled in life or something in your own position of power, money, wealth. You know, if it's marriage stuff, it makes sense or like parental figure kids and all that, that could make sense. But something or someone is not making you feel truly fulfilled in life. And it's messing with your image, wealth, money, status, your career path, your job, whatever this could be about. Okay, Virgo? But that is what I have for you here for today. Um, I do see here we just have Aries energy here today for you. Okay? Thank you. Bye.